Now let us look at the question number 21 of UGC Night July 2018 examination for computer science. As you can see this question is from algorithm design and analysis where they are giving us a recurrence relation and we need to find what is the time complexity for this recurrence relation. Now to solve this problem there are two methods. Number one we can use back substitution substitution and second one is that we can use master's theorem to solve the same problem so we have master's theorem to solve the same problem but sometimes in examination if you are going to use back substitution this is going to take a lot of time for many questions in some question you may find out that you can easily solve the questions in very little time and in that case if you know the master's theorem that is definitely going to help you in the examination because here you are going to save time but the problem is you cannot apply master's theorem on every uh, single problem you can only apply master's theorem to a certain number of problems okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply both the solutions i'm also going to tell you how to solve the same problem using the master's theorem and secondly i'm also going to tell you how to solve the same problem using the back substitution method right because both the methods just to apply on this recursive relation it is really really easy this is a master's theorem so i'm not going to discuss the master's theorem in the beginning in, in beginning i'm going to discuss the back substitution method for the problem so the problem that they have given is that we have this recurrence relation which is tm is equal to t of 3m divided by 4 plus 1. now here uh, you can see there are two parts of this equation one part is this one you have to find uh, what is this value and then you have to substitute that value to here so how do you find this value so wherever we have m just just put uh, 3 by 4 m in that position so if we write t of 3 by 4 m that can be written as t of 3 uh, of 3 by 4 m divided by 4 plus 1 that can be written as t of 3 square m divided by 4 square plus 1 now remember I can just directly skip this step because I have a lot of practice here but uh, just for you I can I'm just trying to solve this so that you can understand this one okay so this equation can be written as tm is equal to t of 3 square m upon 4 square plus 1 plus 1 so what I have done is I found out the, this value and I substituted this value here okay so I have 2 plus 1 so that can also be written as t of 3 square m divided by 4 square plus 2 okay now again if you try to find out this value this entire value then you can also write the same value here something like this tm is equal to t of 3 raised to power 3 m upon 4 raised to power 3 plus 3 now if you don't understand this just try to find out the value of this this little term and then substitute this one then you can easily come back to the statement now if you extend it to some steps then you can find out that this step is actually representing uh, t of uh, 3 raised to power k m upon 4 raised to power k plus k so if you extend this one so if we extend it to kth term then till the kth term you can find out this value and it can also be done as t of m upon 4 upon 3 raised to power k plus k okay now you have to uh, remove this value so let us assume let 4 upon 3 raised to power k is equal to m therefore i can say take log on both sides from this i can say that uh, k uh, is equal to log m 4 upon 3 so you know the value of k right so just substitute this values here so we know the value of k and we know that this value is for m so just substitute this value in, in this equation then you can write the same equation something like this it will be t of m upon m plus log m base 4 upon 3 that can be written as log m base 4 upon 3 plus 1 okay now if you see if you uh, use asymptotic notation so this can be written as theta of log m okay because we are going to ignore the constant values so this entire function can be boiled down or it can be removed or it can be uh, you know uh, minimized to this theta of log m so the solution to this problem is log m but if let us say you are using master's theorem to solve the same problem 
the problem that we have is tm is equal to t of 3m divided by 4 plus 1. Now you have to make this equation come back in this particular form. So if you can make this equation in this particular form, then you can find out the value of a, you can find out the value of b, you can find out the value of k, and you can find out the value of p. So this equation can also be done like something like this. Tm is equal to 1 into t m upon 4 upon 3 plus n raised to power 0 log raised to power 0 m. Okay. So here you can clearly see what are these values. So I can say this is representing the value a. This term is representing the value b. This term is representing the value k and this term is representing the value of p. Now we know all these values. Now come back to these statements and try to find it out. Okay. So what is b raised to power k here? So b is 4 upon 3 raised to power k which is 0. So it can be done as 1 only. So a is not greater than b raised to power k. This option is not matching. This option is not matching. Only this option is matching because a is 1 and b raised to power k is also 1. Now what is the value of p? The value of p is 0. So this is uh, the first option is matching. These two options are not matching. So this is a case which is going to give us the solution to our problem. Okay. Now use this solution and find it out. So the answer is theta of uh, n raised to power log a where the value of a is 1 base b where the b is 4 by 3 into log 0 plus 1 m okay now here we know this value and this value will be equivalent to 0 therefore this can be written as theta of m raised to power 0 into log of m which can also be written as theta of log m so answer to this particular question is log m uh, which is matching the option number a here you can clearly see it is matching the option number A and all the other options are wrong. I hope that you understood the proper solution of this problem. I saw, tried to solve this problem in two methods. One is back substitution method, second is one master's theorem. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Now let us look at the next video. And uh, if you like the solution and if you want to take our courses for UGC net exam preparation, then you can call us on the numbers which is given below, which is 9821876104. Or you can email us on this contact number for the entire course for UGC in it. Now we are also launching the offline classroom program for UGC in it uh, December examination. And uh, if you want to enroll for the offline classroom program, please call us on the numbers and inquire about it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now let us look at the solution to the question number 22.